Hey guys, Rich here and welcome back to another Brick Scene video. Today, as promised, I've got an update on where we're at with my BrickLink store. So welcome back to another Brick Scene video. Look, if you're new here and you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button below. Uh, give the video a thumbs up as well if you like this sort of stuff. So look, I've been asked, I've, well, quite a bit recently, especially on, on the live streams and in the comments, how's the BrickLink store going? Has it opened yet? All that sort of stuff. In all honesty, no, it hasn't yet. It hasn't opened at all. I am still waiting for BrickLink to come back to me with my verification. I've sent them pictures of the inventory. I've sent them a copy of my ID, proof of address, etc., and all that. Look, I understand it's taking up to two weeks, maybe longer, according to their website. We're around that two week mark now uh, already since I sent the information off. So hopefully, hopefully any day now, uh, we will get that verification and we can get the store open and we can start selling some pieces. So what I've been doing in the meantime is obviously parting out a lot of sets. Uh, anyone who saw the previous video uh, where I was talking about opening the BrickLink store, you would have seen the number of sets that I had here. So we've gone through, we've got about, as I say, about 30,000 pieces now behind me in these drawers. Uh, it's been an interesting challenge trying to find the best way to do it. So what I've got in the meantime to store everything is I've got three different types of drawers. I've got these smaller ones here. So per section, you've got 60 drawers with a divider. So you've essentially got 120 uh, different spaces in each of these sections. Uh, I've got these medium sized drawers. They're about half that. And then I've got these bigger trays down the bottom. Uh, which have little dishes and cups and all sorts of stuff inside them. So I've definitely got enough storage at the moment. I'm probably going to get more of these small drawers and these medium sized ones here. Uh, I've got enough of these big tray style ones at the moment, but I think as we start to uh, part out more elements by element and by color, I think we're going to need more of the smaller uh, drawers. So the way I've got it organized at the moment is basically in a way that I can remember it. Um, we'll get on to what I'm going to do going forward in a second, but uh, roughly the way it is, is I've got the studs here going through into the plates, getting bigger into the weirder shapes, um, getting into sort of the modified plates at the end there. And the bottom, we've got the smaller bricks uh, getting into the modified bricks and they just get bigger as they go along as well. And then we've got Technic. And then what I've got is some drawers at the end there, which are just sorted by color. So that's for some of the elements that just don't fit somewhere else, or there might be one offs or uh, an odd shaped element, which is just going to be easier to go and find by color rather than by the element itself. Uh, I've kept some instructions because some instructions are worth a bit of money. Same with the sticker sheets of course uh, and of course the printed tiles or uh, well, the printed pieces. Uh, I've got minifigs stored down over there as well and I've kept some of the boxes. A lot of these boxes up here behind me will be thrown away because they're just not worth anything. Some of the bigger boxes like the Batmobile etc they're worth a little bit of money so they might be worth holding on to for a bit uh, to see if anyone wants to pick them up. So look going forward I'm going to have to be much more organized. Right now like I say I know where roughly everything is but we're going to use a numbering system and that seems to be what some of the bigger BrickLink stores do. They have a numbering system for the drawers. The number then you put in the remarks on BrickLink and you can correlate the part with the drawer number so that when you get the orders in you just see you know where which drawer it's going to be and it's going to be much easier to find. So I've I bought a label maker and as you can see I've started numbering up some of these drawers here. I'll get into that more and more as we get more sets to part out and we start growing uh, the different lots or the different types of elements that we have here. Uh, right now as I say we we roughly know where everything is so we should be able to get started without too many problems because it is in some sort of order. So look it is going to be a case of getting more of these small drawers and these medium drawers like I say. Uh, I'm loving it though. I'm really enjoying the whole parting out thing. I like the fact that we see we're seeing all different elements. I'm seeing sets in a very different way instead of being attached to a set and of course the process of opening the bags and building up a set. All I see it now is bags of pieces. Uh, the box go aside and the instructions go aside and I'm just parting out the pieces. There's no attachment to the set like I would have with any set that I normally buy for myself. So it's quite a weird feeling just getting set, opening them up and doing that. Um, but I'm sure I'll get over that pretty quickly. So anyway, it has been a learning curve. We are still waiting uh, to, to open, of course. As soon as that happens, though, I will probably do another video update once it's open, like I say, and maybe once we've got a few orders under our belt too, just so I can 
talk about any experiences or hiccups or or hurdles that we have to overcome uh, during that process but look out for that video in the next couple of weeks maybe a month or so I'll try and sort of do it every couple of weeks or or at least once a month but yeah thank you very much for checking this one out if you do like these sorts of videos please hit that thumbs up and we will see you on the next one thank you very much mm.